Hey everyone, welcome to the 52nd episode of The Nerd Herders. 52 weeks, we've done a whole year of episodes. Those of you who have stuck with us, thank you, and I don't know why. <laughs> those of you who've joined us along the way, welcome, and those of you who are just joining us today, welcome. Um, we have a very special beer. For our one year. For our one year. Kind of. I got it because it was big and it had a cork in it. So it was kind of like popping open right a champagne. Right, a cork in it. Uh, so what do we what do we have here it's for this one year anniversary? Special limited release ale mm. from Smoke No Boulevard. Yeah, Boulevard of Brewing Boulevard Dreams. Brewing Company from Kansas City. It is a tart cherry stout. Special limited release Imperial Stout 2015. 2015, in honor of our 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 launch year. Yeah, that was a deliberate choice by you, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. So you're 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 opening the thing, the deal. Mm-hmm. Is there? I bet there's a technical term for whatever that part is. I don't know. All right, let's see. Ooh, that was oh. a noise. You wanna smell it before we pour it. Sure. Yep. Your glass. It's pretty exciting. Our, for our one year anniversary, one year with us. Can you believe it? I, they can't. I can't. They're still doing this after a year. Somewhere somebody said, I said that about my first marriage. All right. Now, we usually don't take this long to do beer no, stuff on here. No, it's your first time watching. Thanks. We are the over beer channel, so we do drink, we do drink a beer every episode. Every single one. Except for the ones when we don't. Except for that very first episode. We didn't. That's right. Yeah, we, we didn't do it on the first episode. And then we are like, we're called over beer. We should really be drinking beer every week. Oh, my goodness. There's a learning curve with this stuff. Yeah. You want a little bit more? Uh, no, that's good. You sure? You polish it off. I mean, there's a little bit more, I think, in here for me, but... It's only fair. You have to drive after. Yeah. So this is as dark as the day is night, whatever the hell people say. All right, let's go. It looks Cheers. like it looks like soda in yours. That looks like a Coke. It does. You get the beer part. I got the soda. Ooh. It's definitely cherry. Yeah. It's definitely strong. I like it. I do too, surprisingly. So, one thing that we do on our beer reviews is we always say a character in pop culture mm. that we think would drink this beer and why. Or what the beer reminds you of. Oh. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll get into this week's story. Do you want to rate it first? Yeah, sure. What would you rate it on the I un- would untapped rate, scale? Because I was going to drink it one more time before I actually give you a rating. Of course. I'm going to give it a 3.25. A 3.25. On the untapped scale. It's definitely got a nice flavor. More than I thought, because I usually, I'm not, I'm usually like cherry, strawberry, like flavored stuff. Mm-hmm. Not usually crazy about it. I actually like the flavor quite a bit. Um, I would give it, I like that rating that's not bad i'll give it a 3.25 as well cool so we're in unison 3.25 and what character do you think would what would character be? i'm trying to give a character that would eat like ch- that's like a big cherry eater i don't know yeah just because we talked about him this past um podcast I'm gonna go with the the weird pig from Garfield and Friends. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm gonna go with. Um, that's a good one. See, for me, it, it you know <laughs> that's it, a good one. It's a, it's a dark one. Mm-hmm. Like, it, I mean, it's very but very fruity. It has that cherry taste. Yeah. But it's also high in alcohol percentage. Like, I think this is an eleven percent. Eleven percent. So for me, this is. 
mm-hmm. you know the movie Wreck It Ralph. Oh yeah. Um, and then in the oh, I should have gone with Pac Man. Well, yeah, that's a. I mean, that's that's a logical choice. But in the game, Change there's my, my what is it? Was Candy Rush is something like that. Something like that is the driving game where Vanellope is. Mm-hmm. One of the other characters. This is their du. This is their go-to DUI. One of the other <laughs> little girls who drives. One of go-karts. the really bitchy little girls. Yeah, Candlehead was my favorite of those of those other racers. One of their names was actual Candle, was it? I know Candlehead. <laughs> This is Candlehead's drink of choice from Wreck-It Ralph. Candy Rush or whatever that was. Sugar Rush. Mm. Sugar Rush. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's this week's beer. We'll talk about it on the rest of the week's episodes, I'm yeah. sure. Thank you for being with us for a whole year. Um, and today we're going to talk about our movie top story. Yeah. Okay. We'll get to that eventually. We've only been going for like seven minutes on beer. Yeah. What's our movie story? I don't know. You picked this week's movie I story. I don't know. Um, so there's a weird one this okay. week. Uh, Fox is apparently developing a Stan Lee, a movie about Stan Lee's life, a biopic of sorts. But it gets weird. Okay. Because it's not going to be a traditional biopic. In fact, it's not going to be a factual biopic of Stan Lee, creator of most all Marvel characters mm-hmm. that you know and love. Uh, it's going to be, they said, a period action film. <laughs> About Stan Leibowitz. That's like... Uh, they, yeah, that's they, cool. They, I like they the idea. It, they hearkened it to the tone of Kingsman. Okay. That's what they're going for. Um, and it's apparently not going to follow any actual part of his life but he's the character. I don't know how this works. I don't... So it's just like a, here's, we're going to make Stanley. It almost feels like like a weird spin-off comic yeah, thing. Yeah, like something like, like, you could see it being like, either he was living these real adventures, which gave him the motive, the, mm-hmm. the inspiration for the comics, or something, or like in his head, he like is in the comics when he's writing them. Mm. I could see either of those being kind of cool. See, ways. it almost sounds like <clears throat> this should be a series instead of a movie. Like mm. you, each episode could be another, like if, if that's how they go with like, oh, while he's writing the comics, like he's having these little adventures and like almost like that Mike Tyson's Mysteries thing yeah. that's, that show that's on. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I think this sounds cool. Mm-hmm. I just hope that one day we get a true life story yeah. of Stanley because I mean the guy is still kicking around ninety three years old right now. Um, Every year at MegaCon, I'm like, this is going to be the last year he's here, and it never is. Um, but the thing is, he's I mean, he's had an amazing life. Mm-hmm. I mean, think about all that he's created and how much it means now and continues to mean all these years later. Yeah, but there's also some really interesting subplots there because there is a lot of drama in the history of Marvel comics of you know, kind of him getting a lot of the credit when it's a lot of other people that were responsible for sure. a lot of this stuff too, like Steve Ditko, Jack Kirby, all names that everybody knows Stan Lee's name now, everyone. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows their, their names. You know, those type of deals, which would be very interesting to see in a, in, in a movie, the story, the true story. And I don't think that that's something that you could, maybe you can't even do it while he's still alive to tell the truth. Yeah. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Um, and I think in the in the 70s, there might have been, there was a bunch of stuff about him, I could, and, him and women. And I could almost like see that. that being like like a Fincher social network type. That's, that's what I would movie. love. I would love, I was actually thinking of the exact thing when I was thinking about what would a, a real one, I would love to see something done as serious as, as, as well done as social network or Steve Jobs mm. or something. I guess Aaron Sorkin should write it, essentially. Yeah. Um, Get on that, Aaron Sorkin. I need watch this other movie. It certainly sounds interesting. Yeah, it sounds like a, a fun, cool concept. Yeah, if they do it right. Yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of this week's interesting story. Um, yeah. What do you think? Do you want to see a Stanley biopic? Do you want to see a Stanley biopic that is just an action movie? Um, a fake biopic? Yeah. Or do you think that we shouldn't get this at all? You'd you'd rather have that Bob Kane movie. Um, let us know. 
Mm-hmm. You can tweet at me. I'm at Stonks. I'm at Rich Belson. The channel is on Twitter at OABR underscore official. And you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash over a beer. Run Instagram over underscore a underscore beer. And of course, right here on youtube.com slash over a beer. Every Friday, we, I mentioned it earlier, we're talking about the beer. Um, we do a podcast, too. We do. Yeah. On soundcloud.com slash over beer, iTunes, Pod Bay, other podcast services. I'm trying to get it on, um, I'm going to start looking at getting on Google Play. Apparently, that's also a thing that's a people thing. listen to. Um, that's kind of big. So, but you can check that out. It's it's Nick and myself and Dana sometimes, and we just kind of bullshit about random. This this week we talked about last week we talked about Garfield and the states. Garfield and friends. Yeah. And it's spy kids. And spy, spy kids. kids a, lot of, a lot of spy kids stuff. <laughs> um, but you can check that out there. But that will wrap things up for today. So, till next time, drink up. <laughs>